India has a lot of cows. The population of cattle in India is 193 million. 145 million out of these are cows and 48 million are bulls. That's more cows than the entire population of Mexico. India is home to 14.2% of the world's cattle. India's cattle population has grown substantially in the last 70 years. Thanks to the number of cows, India is the global leader in milk production. And this amount matters for a malnourished country like India. India also has around 5.2 million stray cows roaming on the streets freely, creating chaos. The animal has been at the center of many controversies that have rocked India, including those that had people getting murdered. A 50-year-old man in the northern Indian town of Dadri was killed in a mob lynching over rumors that his family had been storing and consuming beef at home. In July 2019, three men were murdered by the mob because they were suspected of stealing cows for beef. What's the goal when you head out? Well, mainly our goal is to save cows. They patrol the streets every night in search of cow smugglers. How dangerous is it what you're doing? Well, it's, it's, it's a lot dangerous. A lot, of, uh, a lot of few members of mine have been shot many times. Shot? Yes. To defend India's sacred cows, they say they'd sacrifice themselves. A group of Hindu vigilantes self-sworn to stop slaughters, which are illegal in 11 of India's 29 states. Eight other states have laws limiting slaughter. So what's with India and cows? And why does India have so many stray cows? India is a country in the South Asia and has a population of 1.4 billion people. 80% of the Indian population follows Hinduism, and in Hinduism, cows are considered sacred. Since the faith first evolved near Asia's Indus River more than 3,000 years ago, respect for animal life has been a central theme in the Hindu life. Krishna, a central Hindu god is often portrayed in stories recounting his life as a cowherd and referring to him as the protector of cows. Hindus do not consider cow a goddess, but they call it Mata, which means mother. Mahatma Gandhi even once said, If someone were to ask me what the most important outward manifestation of Hinduism was, I would suggest that it was the idea of cow protection. The consumption of beef is taboo in Hinduism. Some Indian states have even introduced this principle into their legal system by passing laws to forbid the slaughter and consumption of cows. And with the election of Hindu nationalist leader Narendra Modi as the prime minister of the country in 2014, the laws around the consumption of beef have tightened. The government is even promoting the religious pseudoscience about cows to the students of schools and universities that India's cows have more emotions than foreign ones and that their humps have special powers. There's a literal cow minister in the Indian state of Rajasthan. But as cities have grown more crowded, cow-friendly policies have posed problems. The changes in cow protection laws and their harsh implementations have led to an exponential rise in the number of stray cows. For instance, Delhi's 20 million residents shared the streets with an estimated 40,000 cows, and these cows cause a lot of mayhem. They roam on the roads causing accidents, they openly poop on the streets spreading diseases. Most of the stray cows in India are actually semi-pets. The majority of the cow owners in India are very poor and they can't afford to feed their cows regularly. There are people and communities who strategically let the cattle loose in particular localities of their cities. These cows roam on the roads during the day, eat leftovers, waste, and save the cost of fodder that the owner has to bear. Indian people who worship these cows also feed them with their leftover food. In the evening, the owners make a peculiar sound or gesture and the entire herd moves towards an adjoining destination where they are milked and let loose again. And the cycle continues. It's a good business because cows give milk at no cost. 
the cows also have the ability to remember the way home unlike other animals. Moreover, when a cow becomes incapable of producing milk, the owner lets it loose forever. These stray cattle have to sustain themselves on their own. Since slaughtering cows is illegal in most of the country, these old animals have to scavenge around the streets for food till they die. There's another reason for the presence of the increased number of stray cattle. Before 2014, a significant number of old and unproductive cows were transported illegally across India's border to Myanmar and Bangladesh where they were slaughtered. But the current administration has clamped down on this practice and as a consequence, the cows that were slaughtered are roaming around the cities of India instead. Cows themselves have been victims of traffic accidents, with nearly 7,000 cows dying on railway tracks in India's Uttar Pradesh since April this year, according to data collected by the Northern Central Railway. Many states like Delhi and Punjab have established cow shelters, however, these are stretched beyond their capacities according to local administrative bodies. States like Uttar Pradesh have decided to invest in radium bands for stray cows, making it easier for pedestrians and other traffic users to spot the animals. There are no loose buffaloes on the streets because unlike cows, they can be slaughtered for meat. Old and male buffaloes are frequently used for producing meat. A farmer can sell his unproductive buffalo in the market and get almost 40% of his original investment back. India is in fact the largest exporter of buffalo meat in the world. But not all Indians abstain from eating beef. India is the world's fifth largest beef eater and consumption has been rising steadily over the past few years. Muslims form the bulk of beef consumers. According to the National Sample Survey Office, one out of 13 Indians currently eat beef or buffalo meat. Among the Indian states with the highest beef consumption, the northeastern state of Meghalaya and coastal Union Territory of Lakshwadeep top the list. Around 40% of Indian Muslims currently consume beef, while among Hindus, it is a little less than 2%. We can clearly see that a complicated bond exists between Indians and cows. On one hand, they worship them, and on the other hand, they let them live on the streets in extremely dark conditions where they rely on garbage to survive. 